Hope you're doing well today. It is May 14th. Our reading today is going to come from Psalm, from Psalm 109. Let's read verse 1 down through verse 5. Verse 1. Do not keep silent, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have also surrounded me with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. In return for my love, they are my accusers, but I give myself to prayer. They have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. The question I would ask is, why does this happen sometimes? Why is it when when we do what we're supposed to do and we're kind and we're loving and just as this passage says we're we're loving as the lord would have us not as the world but as the lord would have us we're loving and yet we as we do good sometimes people reward us evil for doing good why does that happen Why do sometimes people align themselves against us when we're doing what's right? Why is it sometimes even brethren align themselves against us when we're doing what's right? Well, one reason might be that they may have their own agenda. And who knows what that agenda may be. It may be something so simple and so trite as they may be lovers of money. The love of money is the root of all kinds of evil, and all, all sorts of things can be traced back to the love of money. I think that's the point of that passage. But there, there may be other agendas. There may be family issues involved. There may, so there may be monetary issues. They may, or there may be family issues. They may have some other agenda. Who knows? People, sometimes we're just, sometimes people are crazy. We, sometimes we ourselves can be the same way. So that's one one reason people sometimes do this. I'm not saying that it's right. I'm just saying that it happens. Sometimes people choose a different side as well. And they choose someone else. They may think, if, if you're doing what's right, if you're doing what's good, in all likelihood, you're probably in the minority. And sometimes people don't want to be in the minority. Sometimes people, they want to do what's popular and they appeal to numbers and they, they don't want to, they don't want to bet on the wrong horse for lack of a a better analogy. Um, They think you're going to lose. And so they choose, they choose a different side. Ultimately, it may be that they're just selfish and selfish people rarely appreciate goodness. And it may just come down to that, that they don't appreciate the good that you do. They don't appreciate the love that you have because they're selfish. And they, they're narcissists. And they just don't have, they don't appreciate it. It happens. And they align themselves against the good, against those who are doing what's right. And they just, it's a sad thing when it happens. I want you to look back at the psalm, though, and I want you to see the context, or see where this verse, um, the next verse, the next few verses, show us where this verse is quoted in the Gospels. Verse 5 again, They have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set a wicked man over him, Let an accuser stand in his right hand. When he is judged, let him be found guilty, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. This is prophetic, because that verse is quoted in a reference to Judas, when a replacement for Judas is being chosen. So why did Judas do what he did? Could we say he had an agenda? I think so. Could we say that he chose a different side? You know, he goes to the 
he goes to the Jews and he chose a different side. Ultimately, it was just he was selfish for just those few pieces of silver, and there as the Lord identifies him, and think about what the Lord had been talking about. This is my body which is given for you. This is my blood, the blood of the new covenant shed for the remission of sins. What a glorious thing. What glorious things the Lord was speaking about. And yet, as you have the condemnation of Judas, and you have this concept of they've rewarded me evil for good, as even my friend who has lifted up his heel against me, that's another passage. But here is you have this condemn, I have a condemnation. When he is judged, let him be found guilty, and let his prayer become sin. That is a strong, that is strong condemnation for those who do not appreciate good, for those who return evil for good. That is a strong condemnation. And so we should appreciate good. We, we, need, to appreciate, we need to appreciate goodness from others. And we need to be good to others and do what we can. Do what we can, recognizing that sometimes it's just not reciprocated. Appreciate you. I hope your day is going well. Hope you join us for our next brief look into God's Word.